A rare 1,174 carat diamond has been dug up in the land of Diamonds, Botswana. It's the second huge stone to be found in a month in the country and is thought to be the third largest diamond ever found. A Canadian mining firm, Lukara, unearthed, unearthed the massive stone measuring 77 by 55 by 33 millimeters. It is described as a cleavage germ of variable quality with significant domains of high quality white germ material. Botswana's president, Mugwitsi Masis, says the country is attracting the best in diamonds. So Botswana is not only producing the best diamonds, it's attracting the best in diamonds. In order to deliver the best return for our people, for our roads, for our hospitals, for our schools, for our environment, and for development. This is Botswana. And rest assured, in every natural resource that we lay our hands on, we want to move along and add value through the knowledge space and derive maximum returns. Because diamonds being finite, I pledge and I would desire for the sake of Botswana that even after diamonds are exhausted, the diamond story and the diamond capacity remains a Botswana product. Prime Minister Abi Ahmed's Prosperity Party won the most seats in Ethiopia's parliamentary election. The election board said on Saturday a victory that assures him another term in office. Abi's party won 410 of 436 parliamentary seats. Election board deputy chairperson Wopshet Ayele told the news conference in the capital Addis Ababa. Abi hailed the June 21st vote as the country's first free and fair election after decades of repressive rule. However, an opposition boycott war, its ethnic violence and logistical challenges overshadowed the election in some areas. Voting did not take place in three of Ethiopia's ten regions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.